With COVID being as long as it was, our sixth graders were in third grade when that was all taking place. So they've missed some milestones and definitely have had some gaps. And that's why working on their mental health, their social emotional learning, transitioning, structure has been, I would say a little bit harder in the last two years than normally we have had to deal with because usually they have those skills. It's been a crazy transformation. Uh, yeah, until the middle school. In general, like just doing, like juggling all of that can be hard at times because you, because it can be like, oh, like somebody in my family just died, but I have a project due tomorrow. But also my best friend is like, my best friend is having problems with our relationship. From a school counselor lens, I mean, I'm working with kids' mental health all the time. And they're also trying to navigate school. They're trying to navigate home. They're trying to navigate hormones. They're trying to navigate how am I supposed to be doing middle school when they were used to elementary school. What's hard is some of how the, some of the people treat each other has definitely been one of the harder things. I'd say you just have to choose who you're friends with wisely. The thing that I would say that like the adults in my life, like teachers, parents, just family members could like do is just understand, understand that things are hard. At Partners, our mission is to empower youth and community members to achieve their full potential through mentoring, prevention education, and strategic partnership. Prevention education has grown a lot over the last several years. Um, in particular, we've had a lot of requests from various uh, schools um, to provide prevention education curriculum for large groups of students. This past year, we've had the opportunity to work with entire um, grade levels, particularly in a couple of middle schools uh, in the area. We're working on social emotional learning, how to regulate the nervous system, how to have those healthy conversations. And I love the common language. That part is really nice because all the teachers have the same language because we're all in the sessions and the classes and so we're all using the same language and the kids know it. The foundation of BrainWise really starts off with WiseWay number one, which is about um, brain development. So it focuses on our wizard brain versus our lizard brain, which is really our thinking brain versus our reaction brain and how we can implement information that we know about brain development in order to make better decisions for the future. Most of the stuff that she has been teaching us on BrainWise, I like didn't already know and it was really helpful to know. You can learn a lot about the brain and how it works and how your actions can affect others and you. One of the wise ways that we talk about in BrainWise is uh, building a constellation of support. And so what that actually looks like is being able to identify those in our life who are particularly supportive to us and what those key characteristics might look like. She taught us how to like go to our constellation of support, but also by teaching us how to go to our constellation of support, she taught us also how to be one ourselves. Yeah. If you need help, you can ask it. You have all these good places and people that you can go to. My hope for the youth of this community is that they feel supported by the adults of this community. Our commitment at Partners is to continue to bring those adults into the lives of youth and uh, help them feel supported and empowered to go do great things. I've just really appreciated how Partners has been able to come in and be so flexible and to work with us, I mean, on a weekly basis, that's pretty unheard of. And so I just feel like we hit the jackpot when we were able to work with partners because they will ask the curriculum that we're working with, how can they enhance it? How can they, what do we need to do to modify it, et cetera, just to kind of tailor to each grade level. I feel like it's important to really get to know the young people that I work with because they have really interesting insights and have a similar humor uh, to myself. And so being able to hear what they're sort of experiencing on a day-to-day -day basis allows me to get a better idea of um, me sort of fitting into their classroom and all of us learning together. She just like, can interact with us in a way that we understand and we know. It's like she is in a middle schooler's mind and knows exactly what we're thinking and what we're feeling about. And I think that's really special and cool. One of the things we always talk about in middle school is we don't always get to see the end result because of the age they are. And I just feel like they take the skills that they're learning and the reflection on themselves that they're learning and they take it to seventh grade and they take it to eighth grade and they're more able to handle in situations and their lives, and hopefully that will filter out and ripple 
out into the world as they go. It really, to me, shows that our school really cares about us and cares about our well-being.